What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today is November 11th. 11 11. Oh, and it's it is, 11 11. It's 11 11 at 11 11 right now as we're doing this. It's 11 11 and it is 400. We are at our, we're, what is it? Military 1624 time? military time. It's 1624 military time. We are located currently. On Veterans Day, We it's the least oh, we could yeah. do is military I time. About it. I didn't even think about it. I just wanted to switch up the, the intro a little bit. The cadence, which is also a veteran's word. Salute to the veterans. <laughs> yeah, what was your favorite war? Uh, 1812, bro. We went fucking dumb during 1812. Really? Firing off muskets and shit. That was the Louisiana Purchase, right? We don't know. We don't know. No, this isn't a war podcast. This isn't goddamn Goggins. Well, Goggins actually never fought in the war. Oh, yikes. Actually, I don't know if he did. He probably, he could have. No, no, he didn't. He didn't. He definitely didn't. It's not uh, Jocko Willink. You yeah, know Jocko. Jocko. <laughs> it's Jocko. I actually have Jocko's protein powder. <laughs> I listen to his pro- podcast, too. Have you ever had his protein powder? It's really good. What's good about it? Tastes good. Dude, didn't I two days ago ask you to go halves on a tub of protein powder? Yeah, but I already have a ton of protein powder. Well, how come you've never like came and doled me out some like a poor child? Well, I don't really use protein powder that much anymore. A, because it's just easier to go to the store and just buy a protein shake. And B, because... um, It's not as cost effective, though. No, it's not. Trying to get some protein easier. for the wallet too, man. <laughs> Trying to get some gains for the fucking bank account, if yeah. you know what I mean, bro. Yeah. But uh the protein powder that I was using for a while, every time I would eat every time I would drink it, I would get like explosive diarrhea after. Oh, that's fire. So I just have a full thing of that in my apartment. A little rocket fuel for that yeah. ass. Yeah. So that was fun. Share it share it with me. I'm always trying to shit more. It was quest. Okay, yeah, perfect. I love Quest, but their pro- that one protein powder didn't do it for me. Yeah. Did I ever tell you about when Quest uh, did I ever tell you about when Quest sent me that massive care package? No, they were trying to get you bulked. They're like, Dude, this they guy's trying to get me, big. They sent me like $5,000 worth of stuff. Let's fucking go. Bro. Like the box was like the size of this TV. Yeah. Did you uh, did you consume it all? Did you oh, sell yeah. it on the black it me, market? Like, it took me like three months. I finished all of it. <laughs> did you really? Yeah. What was it? Bars? Bars? Proteins? It was... Gummies? Yeah, it was bars... Uh, the chips, a lot of the chips, like six full packages of the chips, um, a bunch of shakes, some powders. Dude, and that's what they don't tell you, but eating right is just as important as being in the fucking gym. <laughs> because I'll it's be in the more gym, important, bro. it's more important. Because I would go to the gym while I was like intermittent fasting. I go to the gym in the morning and then not eat until two o'clock. No, no, I'd be like, where, where are my gains? Where are my gains? You're losing them. I'd be fucking looking around with a fucking <laughs> periscope for my fucking gains. If you if you don't eat after the gym, it starts to eat away at your muscle. Exactly. It was neg. It, I was turning negative. Yeah. I was getting emaciated and skinny fat. You're actually supposed to. Uh, you're supposed to have six protein meals a day six protein meals you hear that folks because what the fuck is a protein meal (laughs) anything with a lot of protein in it (laughs) yeah i'm on slump mode right now man i'm trying to hold it together why just so tired why are you so tired bro last night was fucking insane (laughs) (laughs) what what happened bro what did you do we went to the roan show at the stand no bro and that shit was insane. Yeah, my special should be up soon. I did an hour and a half at the stand last How night. How long were you guys up there for? An hour? Hour plus, yeah. Probably an hour 20. Felt like, yeah, felt like 15 minutes. Yeah, and forever. I could have stayed up there. Because when you're in the in the flow state, when you're truly in flow state, you don't realize. You completely lose sense of time. Of course. No, the homies, uh, Matt and Shane, hit me up the night before the show at 10 o'clock. And we're like, hey, do you want to do this show? I was like, yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm, as you know, if you listen to this show, that we're fans of that show. So uh, yeah. I should have been nervous about it, but I didn't really have enough time to be nervous about it. It went good. We did. We told some jokes up on stage. It went very well. It was, it was very, very funny. I was laughing a lot. Were you? Yeah. Were you? But you were laughing out of pride. You were la- It wasn't tears, no, of, no, tears no. of comedy. You were just laughing, just beaming like a, <laughs> a father watching his, his son at his first dance recital. No, I, I was laughing very hard. It was very funny. Tell a joke that tell a joke that was said then. The tag joke, bro. Oh, that fuck. prop ass tag that you brought. <laughs> I came out like Ron's a big Ron's a big prop comedy guy. <laughs> Carrot top. He came I out with a fire suitcase hose of joke. props. <laughs> oh yeah, the fire hose joke almost got Ron kicked out of the stand. Yeah, it was it was dark. Um, but I think that uh, 
yeah, I think that having props set up could be the fucking way, dude. They're just going out with a watermelon and smashing a watermelon. Yeah, physical I think comedy. would make people die laughing. I think that people would be very into it. Um, but we got to we got to see like it was like a who's who of the show. Fucking uh, Shane Gillis was there. Fucking Tim Dillon we saw after the fact. Yeah, Joe List was there. List Dan was in Soder. there. We saw Dan Soder. Big Dan Soder was in the fucking mix. Fucking Gruen came through fresh off lap band <laughs> surgery. <laughs> he fucking flew cross country to, to say what's up to us in one of the Delta uh, or the JetBlue pods. And he we just saw, was in recovery the whole time. We saw Aziz. <laughs> Aziz Ansari. Yeah. Yeah, Sash was convinced the entire night that it wasn't him. It was just so weird. You were calling everybody else racist for saying that it was Aziz. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just, that's just an Indian guy. No, yeah, that was really good. That was crazy. That was a fun night. A lot of, lot of good comedy going on in New York right now. We're going to see Tim Dillon tonight. At, Are you? At the Beacon. Or is it a is it a podcast or is it a uh, stand up? Stand up. Yeah, and I am just exhausted. Dude, how are you gonna laugh? We gotta for him? wake up tomorrow early. Yeah, for a music video. Yeah, dude, and then we gotta fly out to Minneapolis, and then we're flying to Minneapolis. That's that fucking grind life, I though, know. bro. We're just fucking grinding, dude, at all times, I know. bro. Fucking Shit one day stop. we're recording this. The next day we were coming and record this. We we get tired. We fucking yawn. We overcome. People don't like when we yawn, but the truth is sometimes you have to yawn. I don't yawn. No, you will be yawning within the next 10 minutes. I guarantee I won't. I guarantee I'm completely devoid of empathy. I'm about to yawn right now. I watch both of you yawn in my face. I'm holding one back right now. You never try and like yawn with your mouth closed and your your nose pinched? It'll come out your eyes. Ew. Try it. Next time you have to yawn, it'll fucking like eek out of your eye. Okay, now now close your mouth, close your mouth, and close your nose. See how your eyelids just fl- Yo, did you see how your eyelids just inflated like that? No, they didn't. They look like the Macy's Day floats at the fucking parade. You're tweaking, bro. I am tweaking, bro. Why are you tweaking right now? Because I'm off a fucking bean right now. I know, I could use a little something something. Yeah. A little Adderall. Dave let me get in his stash. Yeah. He was like, you've been a good soldier. Come in here. <laughs> and he fucking opened up a drawer and it started glowing yeah. like the box. The lights came out. <laughs> <laughs> glowing like the box in Pulp Fiction. It was just like, oh, <laughs> And it was the holy grail of fucking Those Adderall. Stimulants. Adderalls that they stopped making. Like, it was like the Adderall from 96 that yeah. they stopped making back then. The stuff that they used to put in Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah. The shit they'd sell as a tonic as a traveling salesman. The original Ooh. Adderall. I just remember that I have a Diet Coke in my backpack and I could use it. Damn, bro. Crack that DC, man. No. No, let's get Jake. Let's get Jake in here. I want that Diet Coke now. <laughs> I feel like you, uh, Jake, is one of the pro- or what, what's Jake's role in the show, Owen? How would you name him? Would you call him a producer on the show? No. Yeah, <laughs> he's a helping hand at most. <laughs> no. Sass has a uh, Sass has a contentious relationship at with Jake. No, Jake I does like the Jake. YouTube. Jake edits the YouTube. You like Jake in the way that uh, you know how when Big Cat says he likes someone, you know he's about to like crush him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't I like actually him. have any. I consider him Jake. a friend, but fuck that dude. <laughs> I'm texting Jake right now and tell him to bring me my Diet Coke. I've seen whenever you start clapping at Jake, like you're Cleopatra trying to get one of the like so, her foot human footstool to come lay in front of her. I feel like that's what you're like with Jake. You'll just be like, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> he's a nice kid. And he does what I say. Older than you? He is older than me. Sorry, I forgot you know, I saw someone, a kid, if they're older than you. I like how you call people a kid. I'm saying, can you go to my desk in the side pocket of my backpack? You need a fucking 20 cc's of caffeine stat. This will be good. This will bring me back to life. Yeah. You've been going on people's <clears throat> podcasts too, though, bro. I have been. I went on the podcast with the homies, and you went on some podcasts with the homies. What podcast did you go on? Oh, oh, man, Shane's. Blanked out for a second there. Bro, you you, you greening out right now? <laughs> <laughs> I once again got a bunch of DMs for people being like, greening out is a thing. Roan's such a fucking moron. And then I got one DM. Oh, this one was real funny. Bro, don't fucking talk about weed if you don't smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find this. A gatekeeper? There was a gatekeeper in, in our midst? Yeah. He was like, uh, I, I can never find a DM when I'm looking for it, even though I know this was literally today that he DM'd me. How how the fuck is that? Dude, you know what I'm actually tired of? What? Getting DMs from uh, people Here we go. saying like, y- yo, hook me up with sass. I don't know what that means. Tell your little thoughts to... to- <laughs> 
<laughs> fucking leave me alone. This is what this guy says. Justin says, you dumb fuck. Greening out is not a thing. It's called passing out. Don't talk about weed if you never smoke, you dumb shit. And then he said, you have no idea what you're talking about, but talk with so much certainty. You are funny, but also really stupid and confidently stupid. Damn, this dude must be fucking pissed. I know. He's pissed at your perspective that, on that, the world. That's the funniest thing is that weed people, it's so easy to make them just so angry. Because their their brains are so bad. Because they're so stupid. Because of the weed. Because of the weed. Exactly. Yeah. We just solved that fucking circle. We just closed that loop real fucking quick. They get mad because they have bad brains because they've been poisoning their brains with weed all the time. Yeah. And also, it's like, okay, yeah, obviously, it's it's pa- it's called it's passing out, but you're passing out from weed. Mm-hmm. Also, passing out from weed is um, <clears throat> bitch made. Yeah. If I mean, you that- pass out from smoking something, you're a <clears throat> bitch. Yeah. I mean, it, think- that's like that's like passing out, or like blacking out, and being like, bro, there's no such thing as blacking out. Okay. <laughs> it's called passing out. <laughs> it's like, yeah, all, no fucking shit, dude. It's also just people being like, there's no such thing as Kleenex. It's called tissue. It's like there are different names for yeah. the same fucking yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. Like, you dumb motherfucker. You stupid. So if you Justin come at the king, is now an enemy of the show. You must. You best not miss. Do you think weed's addictive? Yes. I know because I've dealt with Roan's addiction firsthand. Yeah. I uh, I, I hey, broke Rome, into gonna, a dispensary. Rome, we're gonna miss the flight, bro. I just gotta roll one up really quick, <laughs> real quick. Yeah, he, Sass found me in the in the bathroom on a plane one time, lighting up a fucking two gram blunt, just being like, "I fucking need this shit, bro." <laughs> he was blowing it down the toilet and flushing it. <laughs> every every and exhale. Just kept, <laughs> just kept on rising back up. I was like, "Dude, that's not doing anything." <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Bro, you don't don't talk about weed if you don't smoke. <laughs> you it. don't fucking know. You've never smoked a fat one on a plane before. <laughs> one time I was on a, on a plane ride back from uh, Sweden with this guy organic who like runs a battle rap league, and he was fiending for a cigarette so hard on the plane that he was like, "Dude, I'm fuck. I'm gonna go smoke one in the bathroom." I was like, "Don't do that. Like that's so fucking dumb." He's yeah, like, "Yeah, that's no, like a f- you you straight up like the plane lands and they arrest you on the spot if you do that." And shit. we were over the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, like they would have had to land on the iceberg from Titanic yeah. to fucking arrest his dumb ass. <laughs> yeah, it's fucked, dude. On that same trip, I uh, it was like a battle rap competition and like also it was, must have been the only hip hop thing going on in all of Sweden that year so like there were all these like old musical guests but like Paul Wall and have you ever heard of Bone Thugs and Harmony yeah of course dude I got in the car as soon as I got there like some uh, some other battle rapper was like dude let's smoke in the car and uh, like uh, it was like someone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, and I was just like, "So where are you guys from?" Oh, <laughs> and they all just looked at me. They're like Cleveland. Like I was the biggest dickhead of all time. Yeah. They're like headlining this festival, yeah. and I just looked like the biggest fucking idiot of all time. Bro, if you're if you don't know Bone and Thugs, <laughs> that's on you. <laughs> yeah, bro. If you don't, I, I know. Not I, a cute I have one Bone Thugs and Harmony song on my phone. I forget what it is. This one's for Biggie, Biggie. This bone and busy, busy. <laughs> Is that the one? <laughs> let's ride, let's ride. But they got so fucked up out in Sweden that they were like falling off the fucking stage. Uh, they they were shit faced. Yeah, they have drinking problems. Yeah, this is actually an intervention for Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yeah. <laughs> you guys need to get your shit together. And I'm sorry I didn't know your guys' name. Do you know their names now? Busy Bone, Lazy Bone, Crazy Bone. Yeah. You got all three of them. <laughs> is that no. is that right? It's Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> so one of their names is And. Yeah, no. Bone and is not. A, and is not a person. And's their manager. Oh, so Bone Thugs. And Harmony. is the manager. <laughs> bone and Thug are brothers, and then Harmony's their cousin. <laughs> and he's the one that harmonizes. He holds them all together. Dude, they were it was uh, they were up till like four a.m. in the hotel room with this rapper named Disaster, just like, and they really were just like harmonizing with each other till yeah. like five in the morning. The yeah. dudes just love to harmonize. <laughs> the what is that? Wait, what was one that you were just singing? The Biggie Smallest one. It's Bone and Biggie, Biggie. It's Bone and Biggie, Biggie. Let's ride, let's ride, let's, let's ride. ride. Get high, get high. And how does it get go? Get high. <laughs> Armed and dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Can't nobody Can't come bang, bang with us. <laughs> Straight up weed, no angel dust. Label us notorious. <laughs> yeah. And then I know the crossroads. That's what it was. Meet me at the crossroads. I wish we could play it, but we're going to get... I mean, basically what we did was just as good. Well, we're probably going to get uh, copyrighted just from singing it. You know, that's a thing now. You get copyrighted for singing songs. Yeah, if you sing them good. 
<clears throat> you don't even have to sing them good. Really? Mm-hmm. That's fucking bullshit. I know. And good for you, <laughs> you look happy and healthy. I never thought they said that. I always thought they said, good for you, you look happy in hell. Oh, shit. But like, they don't. They hell, say healthy. Hell, comma, the, and they like start a new sentence. Yeah. I thought that, I mean, I think that would be cooler. Yeah. So, Rodrigo. What's so cool about being like, you look happy and healthy? No. I think it's passive aggression. It I think is. that it's mm-hmm. passive aggression is in the lyrics. Yeah. But you're saying that happy in hell. Isn't her boyfriend gay now? <laughs> her old, her ex-boyfriend? <laughs> he is. Yeah. He is. He came out as gay. Rodrigo's boyfriend? Yeah. I didn't know that. Also, wasn't he like, tw- she was like 14 and he was like 30 and they were dating? <laughs> What's wrong? Dude, go to Miami. That's normal. I know. <laughs> well, all the girls in the Miami clubs are 14. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Miami. That's just how it is, bro. Like, fucking read a book one time. Read a book about Miami one time. No, I didn't. I didn't know that Rodrigo was was on that shit. No, Rodrigo was. Uh... No, I mean liking gay men. Oh yeah. Well, I mean they all do. She like she didn't just like a gay man, bro. She loved a gay man. Dude, you know what pissed me off is when they were trying to call Shawn Mendes gay. I'm like, bro, is not gay. Fucking yeah. shut the fuck up, Debatable. bro. When him and Haley Bieber it's got matching share. tattoos. <laughs> it's giving share. <laughs> it's giving share. What's up, Jake? Yeah, Jake. Get, let's get that Diet Coke in here. Thanks, brother. Jake. Appreciate you. Ice, sir. Yeah, where was... Yo, why is it warm? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm kidding. No, no. Thank you. Appreciate Jake, it. Jake, you don't have to take his guff, Jake. Shout out, Jake. Shout Good out, kid. Tyler. <laughs> Want a cup? <laughs> See, now... Oh, there's a hair. Yeah, he probably oh, put a no. pube Damn on it, it. Jake. Dude, he's oh, fired. God. Well, he'll be fired by the end of the day. My Diet Coke is warm and there's a hair on it. Have you ever heard of the Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the Supreme Court justice, and like the hair on the Diet Coke thing? She like put her <laughs> This is ASMR. She like put her pube on like a <laughs> on a di- on a Diet Coke can or some shit like that. Ruth did? Yeah. No, she didn't. She did. Well, it, who was drinking the Coke? An intern. She was like sexually harassing them. No way. Facts. There's documentaries about it. That dude, you crazy. need to read more. You need is that to read actually up. a thing? Yes. How fucking nuts is that? Also, how funny was it yesterday at the show when Rome was like trying to fit in with them, and he was like, "I never read." He's like, "I literally <laughs> don't read." It's like, Rome, you come in every day. You're like, "Yeah, I read a I read a novel about World War One, but not the actual war. It was another war happening in a local village." That is not true at all. Yes, I haven't re- I haven't finished a book this year. You think I was trying to fit in? Because you're them? on like that Gary V shit. Like you read one page, but then you read the page like a hundred times and memorize it. <laughs> <laughs> I listened to a uh, minute of a book on tape, yeah. but fucking for 60 minutes straight. I listened to the same minute of the book on tape. <clears throat> Dude, I was flipping through the fucking 48 Laws of Power, and I came up. Ab- ab- yeah, exactly. <laughs> How many books do you have? You have a library in your house? No. Smaller, like a, like a small library? Not even. I don't even have a full shelf of books. Damn, really? Yeah. Even I got a full shelf, brother. Yeah, but you've been on the same <laughs> Bukowski book for fucking... Eight no, years. I haven't, dude. It's a novel. It's a it's a series. The Bukowski series. Yeah. Is it actually? No, there's three, and I've read all three of them. So, fuck you. Really? I'm actually. Uh, I haven't read all three of them. That was a lie. <laughs> and I, I, uh, dude, I think you're of myself, a pathological liar. I think of myself as an honest man, always. So I will admit, I'm halfway through Post Office, and it's taken me a long time to get through it. Why wow, Bukowski's not as good as they say? <clears throat> no, he is. I just haven't been reading much. Been watching more. I caught a fucking uh, on the way up to Boston. You just reading Bukowski in front of the fucking oh, fall. Yeah. How was that, bro? You were just fucking. You're just living in the fucking moment, bro. Just fucking. It is a good book. Yeah, you wanted to be seen reading it so oh, bad. So bad. Oh yeah. I was looking at Twitter after. I was like, did no one post a picture? Nobody <laughs> saw that shit. I got no you, bro. Posted me. What's going on with that? I got some shit. I, we just have to craft the headline. There's nothing more romantic than reading on a train. Is that the uh, caption? No, that's I just came up with that. But can I use that? Or, like, I need a fucking sweet-ass <laughs> caption for it. It just makes you seem cool. Like, I'm like, I feel cool. Not even this. cool. I saw Nick like, reading, and I was like, well, I'm going to read, too. Yeah, he was reading a Kindle, but he was definitely actually reading. Oh, yeah. I mean, he reads all the time. He you used have, to read. You know, he used to read 100 pages a day. It shows, actually. He, yeah. He's just a smart dude. Because he knows a bunch of big words. Yeah. Thinks he's so cool. Gay! He knows all these big words. You have, uh, you know how, like, people will, like cut into a bible and put like a whiskey yeah yeah <laughs> you have that I with your that phone when I was in middle school you have you like crack open a book and to make it look like you're reading and you're just scrolling your phone the entire time because cut out i did that in like uh 
Yeah, I think it was in middle school. I cut a hole and put my eye touch in it. Did you really? And I sat in class, and I, and then I was like, well, this is dumb as fuck because like I'm sitting there like swiping on the on on the book. <laughs> Like obviously I'm I'm doing something that I'm not supposed to be doing. Cutting a hole in a book is hilarious too. <laughs> How Took did you a cut long it? Ass time. With scissors? I drew the square or the rectangle. With put, like a pen trace. I like it. yeah, I traced my phone. And then I um just used like an exacto blade and I just cut each page individually, like over and over again. Yeah, they should have got on you for having the fucking exacto blade in there. And well, I did it at home. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like in class with it. I don't know. Is that never something you got? Like when I was younger, I got like weirdly into like like hidden compartments. Always like <laughs> intrigued me. You thought you were about to be a spy or some I, shit. I used to just Google like hidden hidden compartments. Yeah, because it's like sick. Like I like hidden compartments. Like I would. I'm talking about like shit where it would be like a staircase underneath, like a yes. Yeah, that's the dream. Yeah, having sick that in fuck. your house. Yeah, it's sick as fuck. Having a hidden stairway or like uh, a door that's like a bookshelf yeah. or some shit like that. That shit is sweet. Yeah. Or like in heavyweights when they ha- they're like s- they they're sneaking all their candy into their beds. You never seen heavyweights? No. Fuck. It's about a bunch of kids just like you. Really? Yeah. What do they do? Podcasts. Uh, yeah, a bunch of heavy heavy set podcasters <laughs> who have to try and get slim. <laughs> I'm be- I'm bulking up big time right now. I'm beefy. Are you, dude? I, my meta- I have the metabolism of literally like a ninety-year-old man. It's slow. It's so fucked. I, I didn't go to the gym for a week, and I went hard the week before, like cardio and weights every day. Yeah. I think I I, I think I weigh like a two hundred pounds right now. My stomach. Let's is, get you on I'm the scale. Li- I literally look like a pregnant lady. Is it uh? Is it hard or is it soft? So soft. Ugh. I know. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> And then if I what kind of I, breakfast cereal? But I can lose the weight so fast too. Like if I go to the gym every day for a week, I'll have noticeable results. It's all like it's all bloating and like too much like sodium and not. That sounds like up. fast metabolism, friend. No, but I can gain the weight so fast. It's it's, it's insane. Why do Why not uh, introduce a little discipline to your life? I know I try, but then like we go to the comedy shows, and then I'm going to do a set tomorrow, and it's like, what am I supposed to do? Just go to this comedy club for like 15 minutes and do my set and leave? That's what the pros do. When I was on the circuit, I'd go to five clubs a night. Really? Bang, 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 bang. I do my fucking set and I go home. I don't know how people do that. Yeah, it's insane. Like you, you, because even last night, like watching people like come off stage, it seems so emotionally trying. Like it seems like you're really like living and dying and like in your own head about your the, all the moments and shit like that. It's like, oh, like this ender did this or like well, they used yeah. this opener. Dude, like- when I went down to the bathroom, we were at the comedy cellar and Shane was up and he was finishing his set. And like I was in the bathroom and they were like howling laughing. And then he comes up and he's like, well, that was a fucking disaster. <laughs> he was like, there's a group of girls who I could just tell hated me. And I was like, dude, the entire audience was like dying from laughter. Yeah. Like one of the hottest names possible. Yeah, People are yeah. like overjoyed yeah. to see him. And uh but motherfuckers are hard on themselves. I know. I relate. Just kidding. After I do a stand up show, I'm like, God, that was the literally the best set anyone's ever done. <laughs> I was like, no one has ever crushed like that ever. <laughs> After we were at the stand, we went to the comedy cellar. Um and we were uh, we were Shane's plastic men last night. What do you mean plastic men? Just follow him around. Oh yeah, facts. Shane, where are we going now? <laughs> Anywhere What's the cool move, we can bro? go. Where, where else can we go? And we were getting thoroughly roasted by every comic. They'd be like, Yo, oh, yeah. you're out here with fucking One Tree Hill. You're yeah, out yeah, here. Yeah. Everybody was just like, oh, you're out here like chaperoning these little children. Yeah. Whatever. Everybody had some fucking jokes, not fucking funny or appreciated. Yeah. And they would all be like, they, they'd come over and then Shane would be like, what's up? And he'd be like, this is Roan. He works for Barstool. And then he would just like, be like, this is uh, Harry. And that would be it. <laughs> and you would get so pissed. Fucking steam co- started coming out of your ear like a fucking animated well, because teapot. <laughs> I get what he meant where he says that I start going by my real name if I want to do stand-up. And I do appreciate the suggestions. But also, it's like if he's trying to introduce me to other comedy people, like just being like, oh, this is Harry doesn't really do much. What do you mean? They're not going to know who I am. So what does that matter? He's just introducing you as a human. No, he wasn't, though. He's he like, kept on introducing me to be like he's trying to get into comedy. But but you got to start as just your name first. No. So he he should be like, this is a little Sasquatch? Yes. That's going to make him look like a dickhead. Why? Because he's got to say little Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I agree. It makes it seem like he doesn't know you. It's like, this is Method Man. 
No, it doesn't. This is Slim Shady. He calls you Roan. He doesn't call you Adam. But that's like yeah, a nickname that's, that I that's had. His name. That's he was like, this I is Prince before. Baby Roan. <laughs> <laughs> he said that to multiple people. This is this is Hard Way, a.k.a. Crisco, a.k.a. <laughs> the Muffin Man, <laughs> a.k.a. your grandma's favorite grandson, <laughs> Ask Your Girl. I don't know. Yeah, and then you... Uh, it was a fun night, though. Good there people. was chalk on the table. Yeah, I wrote my name, and which apparently is a big no-no. And no, oh, even I, though the, God, even yeah. though the board, even though the the table's literally a chalkboard, and there's chalk there to write on. He wrote his full name. So my out. first thing to do was I was like, I'm gonna write my name, and I wrote my name. Like you were like etching it into concrete. And then the owner came over and wiped it off in my face. <laughs> Not even the owner, the like the booker. booker. Yeah, yeah. It was like she was there on a laptop, and uh, Shane was like, "Hey, yeah. this guy's trying to get into comedy, and he she'll wrote be, his name on the table." She'll be crawling back to me soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, that's uh, this this woman Liz, uh, and she bullied the fuck out of you. She walked over and you started to introduce yourself. And she no, I did like, not. Fucking, like, hey, I'm Harry. I really, <laughs> I'd love to get an opportunity yeah, to be. And she just happen. fucking knocked your hand out of the that way. Did fucking, not happen. She didn't scrub your name. What out? did she? She did scrub my name out. I already said that. What did she? What did she say? And then I said I, I called Chan a pathological liar. He said that you wrote your name, and you're like, no, he's lying. Oh, yeah, I did say that. I said that he wrote his name. Yeah, because you wrote, wrote his name next to it. Well, he wrote comic. Pointing at you. Yeah. Yeah. I to be even more, even more on the nose. I took a picture of it. It's going to be hanging in the Louvre one day. I also took a picture of it. Bro, you best not show the camera. It's got my full name on it. Oh, well, now we're going to have to blur this out. Um, I thumbs over your name. Oh, is that me writing it? Yeah. Damn, what? I got to get a haircut, dude. My hair's a mess. I hate looking at my side profile. It makes me want to actually kill myself. Damn, bro. Don't uh, don't kill yourself, bro. Why did my mom just like sent me a picture of my little sister? What the fuck, mom? Harry thought I killed myself this morning. I did, and then I just hopped in the Uber, and I was like, I'll handle that later. <laughs> I was like, I gotta go do this podcast. I'll handle. I'll handle. So what was that? What was the noise I'll you heard? Hand- did you not hear it? I think it woke me up, but I don't know what it was. Dude, it was like the entire apartment like shook. And it sounded like it was coming right from your room. It sounded like it was coming from a it beam. It must have been coming from... It didn't sound like it was coming from above us. So it, sounded it sounded like someone like had something. tied a weight to a beam and yeah. it was dangling. No, it literally... It sounded like a chair fell and then something like pulled onto the roof. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead serious. And I was like, oh shit. And well, have then, you checked on your other roommate? <laughs> well, okay. And then Owen texted me and said he just tried to hang himself from the, se- <laughs> from the, from the sprinkler. Did you actually text him that? Yes. Yeah. But was it to uh, because you heard that noise? Or no, I texted him. And I was like, "What was that noise?" And you said you tried to hang yourself. But it was spot on. Like he was joking, but it was that's what it sounded like. Yeah, he's a good foley artist. That's yeah. what it is when you're supposed mm-hmm. to when you work in mu- uh, m- movies. Foley's fun. We should start a foley podcast. Creak. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? What, what, what scenario would that have just been? Those are just all cool sounds we can make. I don't know what that would have been. Like, it sounds like a, a rainforest cafe. Yeah, a rain for- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Someone's, yeah. someone's sneaking into the back of a rainforest cafe with murder on their minds. Whatever happened to that guy? Murder on my mind guy. Is he in prison? Who the fuck is what? He? Fuck, who was the guy that wrote the song? Why, why something? Why G? Melly? Nelly? Oh, Melly? No. Who are you talking about? The dude who wrote the song about murder... Murder. Tay K? No. He went to jail for killing his friend. Chris Webby? No, this was literally. You're thinking of Chris Webby. You guys are fucking with me. I'm not fucking with you. I don't know the murder on my mind. Burgers and some fries? That was a song by that dude, Kale. Dude. When they drove up to the uh, drive thru and they're like, can I get some burgers and some fries? (laughs) YNW Melly. What what does Y N W stand for? You don't know. <laughs> you don't know Y N W Melly. You obviously do. You're so up to date on the rap scene, bro. Yes, I am up to date on the rap scene. And you don't know. You don't know Melly. I have my ganja cigs and I listen to my rap scene. You don't know murder on. Okay, so the song is literally called Murder on My Mind. Why are you guys acting like I'm fucking insane? I just didn't remember the uh, the. Why. It's all got almost a billion views on Spotify. Billion plays. Sing a little bit of it. I can't. I don't know the words. We'll play a little bit of it. Murder on the mind. <laughs> I want to kill someone. Murder on my mind. 
Is this one of the songs where they just confess to kill to to the murder? Oh yeah, so this yeah. is the same tune as the burgers and some fries that that yeah, the yeah, yeah, was, when they do in the drive through. Yeah, yeah, burgers and some fries. <laughs> Wait, who who did that video? That dude Kale. Yeah, yeah, that and was his funny boy John. Fuck, yeah, mm-hmm. that was their first thing that went viral. They're Shout hilarious. out those boys. Shout out Kale and John. They came through New Orleans for uh, neighborhood eats when we did the pop really? shit. Yeah, they're awesome. They're all. So what are we doing in Minneapolis this week? We are going up to Minneapolis for a lettuce eating competition, a lettuce lettuce club. Have you ever seen that photo of like lettuce club? No. I told you there was one in my school. Oh, it's yeah. funny as hell. <clears throat> we should uh we should do a show while we're up there. There's a live potty. Yeah. That was actually uh, super fucked up that I just said live potty. <laughs> I actually want to kill myself from that. This picture, you never seen this picture of Lettuce Club? No. They all just eat a head of lettuce, and the winner gets a uh, the winner becomes Lettuce Club for the rest of the year. They come. They become president of the club. Of yeah, of the Lettuce Club. Yeah. They become the next presidente. They become the presidente of bars. They stole that from El Prez? Presidente? Yeah. I think Presidente <laughs> Beer definitely stole it from him. <laughs> mm-hmm. He should he should get like a sponsorship with them. Yeah, that'd Fra- be sick. Frank the Tank's been calling himself John Adams, the second president. Day. Really? Yeah, because he's gonna fill in Dave's shoes whenever Dave decides to step to the side. Has he actually said that? Yeah, Frank is planning on taking over all of Barstool. That would be awesome. Yeah, it would. But I would probably lose my job. Dude, somebody sent me the weirdest DM the other day. They were just like dead serious. They're like, "Hey, have you thought of uh, that you might not have a job in a few years when everyone leaves?" Oh, I got that exact same DM. Really? Yeah, they were like, what do you think about the, the OGs, like Fights and KFC and Dave, Big Cat, Caleb? They were like, what do you I think got the about, same one. Yeah, they're like, they're all getting old. Or like, what do you what do you think about when they're going to get all old and like bar school is going to be nothing? I was like, I don't fucking know, dude. Yeah, I didn't know what to say. I was like, bro, I'm young, I'm young, dumb, and having fun. Yeah, I got to <laughs> relax. <laughs> I got young, dumb, full of cum. Yeah. Cum coming out of your eyes, bro. I was like, bro, I'm, I'm just trying to have a good-ass time while I can, bro. I'm here for a good time, not for a long time. Right, Please. bro. Dude, you ever try to cum and then pinch your dick tip and the cum comes out of your eyes? Oh, I love mm-hmm. that. That shit is crazy. It usually just comes out of my ass. <laughs> 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 like a fountain in Italy, yeah. just like a cum rainbow coming out of that ass. Boys, fucking take pictures of yourselves coming and see which orifice it pops out of next. The results sure. might fucking surprise For you, bros. Sure. You sure. gotta try that. The shit, bro. the girls' podcast I did earlier, Natalie Cuomo was woman. Was, you mean a woman? Sorry, the women's podcast that I did. Or, no, you said the women's podcast. <laughs> It wasn't a women's podcast, but it was a woman's podcast. Okay, the girl's podcast who I did earlier, uh, Natalie Cuomo, was showing us her DMs that, that that she got this weekend. And it was a dude who, like, wanted her to, like, make fun of him. And she sent him, like, like 70 – or he sent her, like, 75 dick pics. And they were, like the, – like, one of them was, like, his balls wearing glasses. <laughs> what? What? Dude, it was one of the crazy. And then he sent like pictures of like his, just like his face. What? Super weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that we say a lot of things are super weird and they actually aren't. But uh, no, that, it was that, really weird. That one is. It was really weird. Yeah, I don't know why dudes. Uh, the balls on the glasses was kind of funny though. That is funny. I know. It I is. Said, it is genius. But at the same time, the harass. I mean, just uh, I don't know why dudes uh, send so many. So, what they want to like this distribute their penis so badly. I don't know. Motherfuckers want to distribute their penis. Can't relate, bro. Yeah, bro. Can't relate. Bro, this shit is staying. Any other goofy ones? Anything else? Uh, no, that was basically it. They didn't dress it up like the Renaissance Fair? Or like <laughs> <laughs> the two balls are like jousting? The and, and then there's like uh, a lady in like the penis tower or something like that have that you they're ever fighting seen, for? Have you ever seen that penis art from a while ago? There used to be fucking... The guy a, on TikTok? There used to be a show on HBO called Puppetry of the Penis. Dude, they're... If you you know what I'm talking about tip tip shaft tip you know that guy no oh dude I I wrote a blog about this I'll pull up the TikTok because it is fucking funny you Just write like, blogs this is like <laughs> well, the only time I ever wrote a blog I feel like this guy's penis has to get covered no literally it, it's one of the funnier <laughs> things I've ever seen the uh, you gotta listen to the audio because someone was like how did you paint that like there's like a painting behind him there's a painting behind him in the video and he's like. The, someone like commented and they were like, "Did you paint that?" And he was like, "Yeah, I did." And then he and then he goes and he zooms in on the painting and he's like, "Tip, tip, 
shaft tip and it's like it's just like everything is just his like the tip of his penis like pressed up against the canvas or like the shaft what oh. and then there's like a big explosion of paint one in one spot and he's like you don't want to know how this got here <laughs> <laughs> dude i'll show you and he sells them oh my god he's gonna d he's dm me like a hundred times yeah he's probably gonna dm me again after this we should buy one a penis painting i think they're yeah, like 45 dollars building Nah, bro, fuck that, bro. I don't want some guy's dick on my wall. Some guy's dick pain on my fucking wall. That's the last thing I need right now with my fucking mental state. Are you good? Another man's penis all over the fucking wall. <laughs> Are you good, bro? No, thanks, bro. Yo, open up to us. People want to hear more about the the Roan life. Bro, I just told you about how I fucking <laughs> confused Busy Bone with fucking a random Swedish guy. Yeah, but we want more, bro. Bro, you couldn't handle the fucking stories I've got, bro. Coming up in the fucking hip hop game, shit was fucking crazy, bro. Where is this? If I wasn't overdosing and getting jumped every weekend, I didn't know where I was, man. <laughs> oh, here we go. <clears throat> All right, give me a second. All right, this is a perfect time to do one of our ad reads. We are sponsored by Revitalite. Today's episode is brought to you by Diet Coke. Diet Coke and Revitalite and hand sanitizer. All right, ready? We're still washing our hands over here. Wait, fuck. Fuck, bro. This shit doesn't sound like the right no, shit, bro. No, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. Where this is this? It does not sound correct, bro. Oh, Why could... does he not have the... I could just clean this up. Yeah. This is actually dead air, bro. This is fucking killing me, bro. Fuck. Fuck. Hey, oh, hey, oh. Hey, hey, oh. Set us hearts to my own device. Oh no, I think he deleted his account. Oh no, bro. Well, that's a bummer. What a what a big hype up for nothing. Sorry, guys. Kind of just shit the bed on that, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know why you did that, bro. We're trying to have a fucking smooth show right now. <laughs> I'll just cut it. <laughs> Actually. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I was looking forward to showing it. It's a hilarious video, but I guess he deleted it. I mean, it's also a podcast. Yeah, but I just wanted to play the audio so you could hear him go, dick, tip, tip, oh, okay. shaft, tip. That does sound funny. It is so funny. Um, I wonder why he deleted his account. Maybe it was affecting his personal Probably because he was painting with his cock, yeah. yeah. Well, he was a cock painter. Or maybe they deleted it for him saying, like, you can't paint with your cock on oh, our platform. Oh, that's most likely what happened. Yeah, on our platform. Well, people paint with their, like, period blood. Ew. Yeah, but they're women, okay? Ew, dude. Don't say that. They're, they're girls, don't do, girls don't do that. <laughs> girls don't have periods. And if they do, it doesn't bleed. No. They, it comes out just a fucking nice, a tidy cube. <laughs> a fucking glowing cube. That just yeah. fucking, a shiny white cube that, that pops out. It just and pops you touch out. it, it's like auto-tune, like uh, Land of the and Lost. You just pick yeah. it up and throw it in the trash. It's just an LED cube that, like, th depending on their mood, it comes out a little bit of a different color. It's like how men, like, men's foreskin grows back every month and you have to go to the doctor to get it trimmed. Yeah. Or just like you'll get a like a Caesar, you'll get like a tight fade on your foreskin, <laughs> <laughs> or you could let it grow to an afro, cultivate cultivate the schmegma like yeah. it's some uh, really grow out the tip, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a white dude with dreadlocks. Just don't wash that tip. No, that's the can't. best way. To, you just don't wash the fucking tip, bro. I can't believe we got to go to New Jersey tomorrow morning, dude. That's gonna suck. This, we got to put this whole music video thing behind us. I don't think you'd ever make it in the music video game. Oh, definitely not. And I don't also don't have a suit, which is going to be a problem. Suit? They tell me I got to have a suit. Suit? Yeah. You got to wear a suit? Yes. That's fucking stupid. I'm going to have to borrow one of yours. You're going to have to bring me a suit. My shit is tailored, tailored to my body. You're going to be swimming in it, bro. Got to do what you got to do. Bro, you're not, you couldn't fill out my fucking suit. I'm going to actually have to use yours. Like, you're going to actually have to bring me a suit. Just go buy one. I'm not going to go buy a suit. Why? Because they're like $700. Not all suits. Go to Nordstrom Rack. Okay, so they're $300. Go to go, just buy a suit jacket. Bro. Wear some pants. Just I don't want to spend. Yeah, I'm saying you're going to expense it. I'm going to give you a company card. You're going to go do it. No, because I don't even have time to do that. Time? No, because we're going to the comedy show right no. after this ends. And then I, and then we're going at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Just bring me a, ja just bring me a jacket. Bring, bring me you... a jacket. 
I don't even know if I have a jacket. Bro. And plus, I'm a 48 long, bro. You're not going to be able to fit in it. <laughs> I'll be able to fit in it. We'll make it work. The sleeves will completely eclipse your hands. No, they won't. You're going to be We're like the like exact same size. I'm bigger than you. I'm way more ripped than you and jacked than you. That's not true at all. Yeah, bro. and I'm taller than you. I had three eggs this morning. <laughs> Dude, I, I, used to have, I used to have eight eggs a day. I had three. I had three shot glasses. Just do you see that dude uh, drinking like eighty-five shot glasses of eggs? The Liver King. Yeah, I feel like I the Liver King guy. every time that I eat. <laughs> he three can't eggs. breathe, dude. He can't breathe, and he's on like in like he's gonna have a heart attack. Of course, he's a, his <sighs> veins are bursting out of his skin, and he's on so much steroids. You don't get that big from just eating liver. And the cholesterol in that many eggs. I mean, this I poor mean, man's cholesterol. Dude, he he, he has have blood. like sardines and his lard. His blood must too. be like the same texture as like toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> it's just barely moving through his body. He yeah. just has to squeeze it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just massages his arms just to get some blood flow just in his push, hands. Yeah, push blow to his limbs. Every dude, uh, we should. Uh, you said you'd never gotten a massage before. Yeah, and I don't want to. I thought you just said you want one. You're no. like, I want one for my back. I don't want to get a massage until I'm jacked. You got a new. Ripped. I don't want the. I don't want the masseuse seeing me. That you don't tummy. want them to have to go through that. No. You don't my think my gross that, ass stomach. You don't think they have to. My have, disgusting body. Yeah, I don't think they give you a tummy rub in the fucking massage spot. I want to get liposuction. Like Kanye. Did Kanye get it? Yeah, he's like, I didn't. I didn't feel like working out, so I got liposuction. Smart. I had a teacher who used to get liposuction like once a year. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? I don't remember. It wasn't my teacher. He just worked at the school. You say he? Yeah. So it was a dude? Yeah. That's so sick. I know. Normalize the dudes getting fucking liposuction. I feel like it's most commonly dudes, if I had to guess. I'd say it's mostly women. No. Women are held to a much more stringent body standard than men. I don't know. I guess you don't I, know? I guess I just have the uh, opposite opinion. <laughs> oh, really? I guess it's just I hold myself to such a high standard, and I would never hold a woman to the same standards. <laughs> Dude, when I was uh, outside the Comedy Cellar, there was uh, th this dude who I know that has worked at the Comedy Cellar uh, having a conversation with a girl while we're smoking a joint. It was her first time at the Comedy Cellar. Oh, yeah, you told me about this. She was like, I think that, like, uh, uh, like you know, I, I love comedy, but there's just some things I won't tolerate jokes about. And he was like, won't tolerate jokes? <laughs> and he was like, like, what? And she was like, rape. <laughs> and oh, he, what the fuck? And like, they just it's got a in a deep conversation. They just got in a massive argument about him saying, like, rape jokes are like, you, you can joke about anything. And she was just telling him, like, no, like, it's not okay. And she like put her hands on mine, his shoulder. And she's like, as cis white males, I'm pretty sure your opinion's a little less valid than mine on this one. And she just sunned our. Was she white? Yes. Uh -huh. She was a cis white female. But she, that, that just like that one sixth that she had on us, she fucking dunked on our dumb asses. Oh yeah, she did. I didn't even have an, I didn't even say an opinion on it. I just let them kind of have their argument out. <clears throat> yeah, you were out there for a bit. Motherfuckers like to argue in public in New York. Yeah. People are always trying to like be at a dinner party, like arguing over like fucking like some philosophical, like, and I guess people, have you ever heard the saying that like, uh, like small minds talk about people Medium-sized minds talk about events, and big minds talk about ideas. Yeah, I've heard that now. <laughs> You've heard it as I've said it? Yeah. And well, my point is that I think that they're trying to, like, be, or whatever, big minds, I doubt that's exactly what it is, but that they're trying to, like, talk about ideas, but, like, I'm just not really for that in, in a public setting. Like, people are just trying to, like, fucking hash out their fucking philosophical difference at the, to, like, appear like intellectuals in public. Yeah, I mean, and also, it's boring. like, if you're that girl and you're going to that comedy club, like, you, you, she's, she was looking to get into that conversation. Yeah, and she had, she had just gotten there, hadn't even seen a single comic, yeah. and she's already saying, like, these are the jokes I want, there's, like, things I won't tolerate jokes yeah. about. What, and what if you, if you don't tolerate it, what's your, what's, like, what are you going to do? She gonna Heckle? kill? Is she gonna kill everyone in the comedy club? <laughs> yeah, she was like, I don't tolerate those jokes. Yeah, and she just pulled up her shirt to show a forty-five yeah. on her waist. Yeah, yeah. I don't tolerate jokes like that. All right, so I'm gonna clean these streets. <laughs> She's a taxi driver. <laughs> yeah, she got the street sweeper on her. She you talking to me? <laughs> I've never finished Taxi Driver. Yeah, we've ne neither have I. Yeah, we've talked about that. We should we should finish it. Yeah, we the, should just live stream it one day and react. Yeah, bro. We got to start putting out different types of content. It's a slow burn. What? What is? Taxi driver. Oh, we have a vlog kind of thing coming out tomorrow. 
Yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah, it is funny. I watched it. It's very funny. Is it? Yeah, the bowling scenes are hilarious. Why? Because we're so fucking good? No, just the way Tyler edited it was really good. Yeah. Like heavy metal music in the background. It looked gnarly. It does. It made us look like men. It does. Fuck kind yes. Of. I think me and you had by far the least athletic uh, bowling stances out of everyone. Well, fuck them, bro. We're Definitely fucking... me. I threw overhand. No, yours was still better than mine. Really? You, you flipped your hand over. Sounds like a bloop. Yeah. I mean, KB threw with both hands and still managed <laughs> to look more athletic. Yeah. That she was whack. I should have just practiced spinning the ball. I want to spin Dude, a bowling I, I ball I was, so like, getting bad. good. Like, I want to go back. Like, I would do it again because I, I honestly... We should go when we were in Minneapolis. It's Nothing cold else as fuck to do up in there. that cold-ass city. We should try and bowl in every major city. Yeah. We should find a way, like... This was, like, Bro, a, let's make a fucking bowling movie. <laughs> Yes, dude. Let's make this an empire. Barstool Bowling, yeah. dude. Yes, but that's sponsored by Revitalite and Diet Coke. That'll be fucking sick, bro. And we're just fucking in there bowling. We do ad reads in between yeah, frames. Yeah, we're just wearing shirts and shit like mm. that. Fucking hanging out with fat boys. Yeah, hanging out with the fucking fat homies. Does anybody else want to bowl here? Yeah, bowling. Bowling brought to you by High Noon and and, and Carl. And what is the gay? What is the gay sex toy website? Cake, cake. Yeah. And cake. Wait, what makes them gay sex toys? They're uh, they're, they're pocket assholes. What's gay about that? Because it's a man's asshole. How do you know? You oh, you, oh, it's you a lot know. dirtier. A few hemorrhoids. <laughs> it's a lot more hairy. <laughs> why? Why is that? A, what's the difference between a man's asshole and a woman's <laughs> asshole? Brother, have you been down there? <laughs> have you ever have bro? Have you ever seen an asshole before? A man's asshole. Have you ever seen your own asshole? You look in your asshole in the mirror? Yeah. You put your head on the counter and spread your asshole <laughs> like you're on the casting couch and look in the mirror? No. Sounds like you do, though. I'm asking we you. We check freak. each other. Freak. I've never, freak. Well, I've never, freak. Se- I've never seen a man's asshole. Freak. Damn. So you can gender a man by their asshole. <laughs> That's what you boys are saying. Bro, wow. You're about to get kicked off this show for good. You know that assholes have taste buds in them. <laughs> no, they don't. You tried to tell me that something else has taste buds in it, too. It's the asshole. And I'm going to look this up right in your face because I'm tired. You of know what does have it. taste buds in it? Dat Chat. <laughs> <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Dat Chat. It's not. Eh, we'll throw in a if little. If you're worried chat. that taste is about to become more anal and testicular than oral pastime, the taste receptors in your anus and testicles, you have taste receptors in your anus and testicles. This is the headline from foodbeast.com. Science says testicles and anuses have taste receptors. Oh, wasn't that... Time to invest in bacon condoms. Weren't people on TikTok, like, dunking their balls and stuff and saying they could taste it? Probably. Bro, do you have a... Do you, do you have a... The Barstool film team coming out to film Saturday's video? What do you mean? Are the mics filming Saturday's video? No. Who's filming it? Rob and them. Why? Just me and Mike are just hatching it out like he's pissed. What is he saying? No, I'm kidding. I bet he is pissed, though. <laughs> he is. He's taking fuck. <laughs> so you weren't kidding. <laughs> no, he's joking. I don't think he actually cares. What's he saying? He said, uh, he said they replaced the mics with the esteemed branded content team for Saturday's video. Sounds like he's negging the boys. <laughs> and I said, God damn, did they really? And he hasn't opened it yet. Hey. Can't believe you guys ditched the mics. Why'd you ditch the mics? I didn't ditch the mics. It was I a pitch- corporate decision. I pitched the mics. They ditched the mics. I'm trying to get hitched to the mics. Why did they ditch the they're mics? They're trying to nix the mics. Why? They're not trying to nix the mics, but they're trying to skip the mics. <laughs> okay, all right. Why did they? Why? Why, why aren't they having the mics do it? I think because the mics are doing Tuesday, and they just want to like I don't know, flip the edit this way or that way, or maybe they just want to. They they know that I fucking get loose on these trips with the fucking corporate card, and they're like, <laughs> I want to go to the fucking, I want to go to the steakhouse too. Yeah, yeah. Branded content team is probably like, I want to get a fucking club at at. Uh, I'm pumped or, to get out there, run up a check. Yeah, I want to get a table <laughs> at Bounce in Minnesota yeah. and fucking spend Saturday fucking hanging from the chandeliers like I do on every yeah. fucking trip. Nobody fucking. Ruth Chris, Ruth's Chris, what is it called? No, we did go to Ruth's Chris. On my birthday. Yes, on your 21st. Bro, we're going to have to, we're totally going to have to mess with Owen since it's going to be his first trip with the big boys. Went on a trip like last week with you guys? No, bro, this is going to be the first big one though. Minneapolis. You meet the mics yet? Yes. One. And in bro, Philly. you didn't meet the mics. That's a wrong mic. That's a different mic. These are different mics. These are the other mics. Didn't he edit too, though, he was saying? In Philly? Yeah. 
Wasn't he working on your wedding video? The tall one? Are you? No, no. You're thinking of a different one from Philly. The one from Philly that came out to that came to the show. Yeah, that wasn't one of them. That was a different mic. God damn. He was my best man in my wedding, but that's a different. That's a whole other mic. How many mics are you like very close friends with? Uh, like fifteen or sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like it's serious. Oh, I am serious. Okay. Because I've hung out with so that mic that we saw when we were in Philly. He was also there when I was there with Roan and we and the other two mics. And we should do like a friends. speed dating episode with all the mics. They each get five minutes on the podcast. That's what I said. I said, or we should just all we should give all of them a mic, <laughs> and just have a sixteen person podcast. They already have mics on mics. mics. Yeah, mics on mics. They should get their own show. I Hot know, mics. Spin-off. Ooh. Hot mics. Yo, a dating show save of this, the mics. Bro, save this. I don't want anyone stealing these ideas. Wait, what do you mean save it? We have to say it right now so it becomes our intellectual property. That's how mm-hmm. intellectual property is sown. Actually, fuck Barstool owns it now. Uh, we gotta uh, fucking say it off mic so fucking Barstool can't get their fucking hands out of our pocket. Can't get their greasy hands on it. Yeah, they're gonna just tr- try and fucking just work us to the bone and say, whoop, we'll take that. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Did you like your live show? We'll take all <laughs> that money. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Erica. We'll try harder next time. It's the network, bro. The fucking network. That's what they, say. they fucking eat. They eat off our hard work. We're out in the fields all day, fucking harvesting. Bro, next time they say we need troops in Minneapolis, I'm gonna say, "Fuck your troops. <laughs> <laughs> Get your own troops, then." But of course, Sassy's got to go out to Minneapolis and hold it down just for the fans. You said that we were gonna go to the uh, police station. They burned down out there. No, bro, I would never say that. That's what you said. Oh, yeah. No, I said that we were going to go to the place where they trained the 9-11 the 9 pilots. Yeah, the 9-11 pilots. It's crazy how much shit went down in Minneapolis. <laughs> I know. It's yeah. a hot spot. Same with Colorado. Colorado has, like, all, all the bad shit went, out, went down out there, too. What, just shootings? Yeah, like every or mm-hmm. a ton of shootings. But yeah. also, no bad shit goes down in New York. Well. Historically. Don't jinx it, bro. Oh, except for. Except for 9-11. <laughs> yeah, but outside of that... Bro, bro, you're forgetting a pretty fucking big one. <laughs> Fuck. Cut, cut, that, cut that part, bro. Yeah, cut that out. I can't bro. have that. my FDNY brothers fucking finding out that I forgot that. How was that? What? When you went out, didn't you go to dinner with a bunch of the fire department guys? There was one fireman, one cop. And they made, they checked your wallet to make sure you weren't vaxxed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, whoa, 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 bro. Your card's fake, right? Yeah, what the they hell They checked my this? card to make sure it was fake. Yeah. <laughs> How was that? Good time? Good, bro. I love the firefighters. Staten Island? No, bro. Breezy guys, right? No, bro. Oh. Rockaway. Oh, fuck. Rockaway. It's right by Breezy, but close yes, enough, yes, bro. Yes, sir. You got to get out. We got to get out to fucking Rockaway, bro. They love you out there. But you got to sure fight. Would. You got to fight on the boardwalk just to get to the pub, the pub that they go to. Really? Yeah, you have to like brawl out on or underneath the boardwalk, and it's like long fights too. It's not like a little brawl and people get involved. Like people get thrown off the boardwalk. You have to like walk back up around the block crying, or, <laughs> like <laughs> crying like Kyle Rittenhouse, just fucking sobbing. Coming. Should up we have a brawl. Kyle Rittenhouse segment? No. Okay, Lib. <laughs> I think you're the lib. I think you're the lib. I think bro. you're actually the lib, bro. bro How's that sound? You're a fucking snowflake. No, bro. You're a fucking woke cancel culture mob, bro. No, you're a woke cancel culture no, mob. No, I'm not woke cancel culture mob, bro. I'm fucking the real deal mob. I'm fucking a medic, bro. I'm not cancel culture. I'm fucking here to save people, and I also have a gun. You ski, Ron? Coke? Yeah. Dude, um, we're going. We're going skiing. We're gonna do a trip. Yeah, I think Harry and I are gonna go to, to the Adirondacks if you'd like to come. Wait, we are. Yeah, well, I meant more. Uh, I'm trying to go out west. I'm trying to go to uh, Big I Sur. I can afford that, bro. bro. In the company car, bro. I'm talking about running shit up, bro. <laughs> Let's get a fucking chalet. Let's get ourselves an entire chalet and fucking just do a little ski up thing where like our backyard is on the side of the mountain. Yeah, and we just have yeah. To oh, go gondola, down. A gondola comes and yeah, picks us up. Yeah, a gondola, every 10 bro. Some shit like that. That would be so fun, dude. Or like snow tubing, bro. I'm just trying to be fucking getting some speed down a mountain without the risk of losing my life. Oh, I'm uh, the risk of losing your life makes it more fun. Does it? 
I'm I'm good as fuck at skiing. It's the only thing I've ever been good at. It is crazy how some people are who are not athletic will wind up being athletic on yeah. skis. Like I, I can just like buzz down double black diamonds and I'll go like so fucking fast. Shut so I think fuck it's up, bro. it's, it's just sick, like so bro. uh mental skiing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they say if you're looking at the trees and you're like, Don't hit a tree, don't hit a tree, guess what? You're thinking about the trees and you're gonna hit one. Yeah, I never hit a tree. I never really fucked with it. I mean, skiing trees in, I don't know what it's like out west, but I imagine it's much different than in the east. But skiing trees in the east, it's like very, very tight. Like the trees are not, it's not like spread out. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Yeah. And scary. And I don't like to be scared. And it's also very icy. I don't know why I imagine the west is just all powder. Yeah, fa- fluffy pow. Yeah, pow. F- fat ass pow. Yeah. My problem pow was dead. my entire life I've had uh, baby giraffe legs that are like fucking wobble as soon as I like start going. <laughs> yeah, fast. I can tell from the from the bowling. bowling. Yeah, my shit is a. I need to stretch more, but b. My shit is just fucking weak. Yeah. What do you mean? Don't you do yoga? And so now that I've been doing these, not, it's not yoga. I mean, I need to get back into yoga, but all the places I'm trying to go are closed. But I do a women's fitness, and dude, the women are all about getting their core mm-hmm. right. And all about getting their legs strengthened up. So I'm trying to come out with a fucking bubble butt and some fucking stable knees, Fuck yeah. like a like a twerk all star, and fucking zoom down that mountain. I'm trying to get back into yoga though, but that's what I wanted to do. That's the way to never have pain in your life. Yeah, I did yoga once and I sucked at it. I could see that really bad. Were you sweating up a storm? No, because I just like couldn't do anything, so I kind of just like sat on the mat. <laughs> yeah, so you didn't and like rolled around. Yeah, I don't see you pushing yourself per se. No, not in yoga. No, it's kind of like a girl's thing. Yeah, you push yourself in man things like fucking like lifting weights and yeah. skiing. Yeah, I'm more into like extreme sports. Yeah, like fucking skydiving and bungee shit. Yeah, would you ever bungee jump? No, yeah. I would never skydive either. Yeah, because you're lo- you you need some fucking tea, bro. You need to get some fucking, some some tea to fucking up your risk tolerance. I need some growth hormones. Yeah, bro. Oh. Pinch that nose, bro. See if some cum comes out of your asshole. I'm, <laughs> I'm exhausted, dude. Do you think this episode was good? Yeah, yeah. It's a, dude, it's a free episode. This shit is bonus shit. We're doing this for the fucking. I yeah, feel like true. they're the fourth member of this show, or whatever you want to call it, sixth member of this show is the fucking fans, bro. Whenever I'm sitting in here talking, I'm just like, <laughs> you guys are my fucking homies I mean, we're right kind of just shooting the shit at this point. Yeah, bro, riffing. very free-flowing. We want it to feel like free-flowing, but it is all planned out. And these mm-hmm. are all segments that we do. Just off camera, we have prep sheets that we have written down. And God, are they detailed. <laughs> Cue cards. Owen's just running through cue cards the entire yeah, time. Holding up cue cards. <laughs> then he handwrites them. We want ones. him to handwrite yeah. them. It's way easier because also that's how Lauren does it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lauren loves to have the key co- cue cards out for the folks. So Lauren's a red Sharpie guy. Yeah, he is. Owen, oh, who's the new guy at SNL that you saw at the stand? Uh, Aristotle Atari. Did I tell you about this already? The Instagram story thing? No. They were like, yeah, is so he Greek or Japanese? I don't know, no clue. He was apparently he was like on SNL just ta- or like at stand just like talking about like how he was like engaged and then he like got hired at SNL and he just like left his fiance to go to SNL. Mm-hmm. And then they were like <laughs> they were talking about like the three new people were doing like a Q and A on the SNL Instagram story and it was like <laughs> they were like talking about the first question was like where were you when you got hired at SNL and like what was your reaction blah blah, blah. and like one of them was like oh I was. I was eating dinner at, with my family, and the other one was like, oh, I was at the bookstore or something like that. And then his was like, he was like, um, I was doing this, like, thing for my wedding, and then he just, like, stopped. <laughs> and, or he was like, I had, like, a wedding thing, and then he was like, yeah, it, it was cool. <laughs> like, it would do super uncomfortable. And yeah, I never would have put those pieces together unless you told me about it. No, it was a before. really bizarre set. He, like, went up there and, like, didn't really tell any jokes. It was he like was 10 minutes like, straight. He was just like, I, like, uh, yeah, I don't, he was I don't like, know if I'm yeah. like still going to marry my fiance. And then he was like, uh, he was like, didn't he say he hadn't even talked to her since he left for SNL? Yeah, he's like, I don't know. It's like pretty bad. Uh, and the whole room. So was it just sounds silent. like he just wanted to leave his fiance and he's using SNL as a. Yeah, he doesn't even like comedy. He was that. just trying to find something to get well, into no, the East like, Coast. Well, no, because I mean, I feel like if you get hired at like a job like that, that's something that you could like work out, and like they could both move to New York. Yeah, what? It's like a life changing yeah. experience. So like, actually, babe, you gotta yeah. stay home for this one. Yeah, sit this one out. And actually, I don't want to be with you anymore. 
Also, the fact that he hasn't spoke to her, like, don't you think they would, like, connect maybe after his first show on SNL? Like, yeah, good job. Let's get them or... on the pod. I want to <laughs> fix them. I would fix them, too. I'd love a fixer-up project. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it would make me feel, give me a sense of accomplishment. Yeah. Or we could just destroy them. Like a rent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but I want to give them, them a trick chance. Trick them into saying slurs so he gets kicked off of SNL. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like get him fucked up or like put yeah. some kind of like truth serum in him or something <laughs> like that. And be like, which ethnic group do you hate the most? Yeah. Oh, he also did. Uh, he brought like a glass of whiskey on stage. I hate that. Oh, yeah. That's You're not, right, you're not you like Dave beer? Chappelle, bro. What about you're a beer? You're not Chappelle. Can Beer's fine. A, but whiskey's pretentious? <clears throat> yeah. Well, because I imagine him sitting up there like swirling it around. So I left my wife for SNL. It's like, you, you t- yeah, they take the last sip and, like, roll their eyes. And they're like, Ugh. Who is the dude we were talking to at the, at, uh, the cellar who was, like, uh, in Brooklyn, like, all they want to hear is, like, a thought-provoking concept. Like, oh, you don't need to tell you. What was that guy's name? He was hilarious. I'll pull it up right now. Yeah, he was fun. Super nice dude, Was too. he a Philly dude? Yeah. Oh, we should have him on. Anthony Moore. Anthony Moore, yeah. He was super really funny. Really fucking funny. But he was, like, uh, in Brooklyn, they just want you yeah, to, like... Yeah, he's, like, they don't care about jokes. They just want to be have, some, like, a concept. And I feel like that's what you're saying this guy was doing. Yeah. Like, he's just yeah, trying I to guess. talk about, I guess, the concept of... Well, that was know. hilarious. Leaving someone. Yeah, it's more just like a discourse than like. The way he bang, talked bang, about bang Brooklyn jokes. made it seem like there's like a blast radius of like how woke people are through Brooklyn, <laughs> and it's like you're at ground zero of how fucking woke people are, what kind of shit they'll tr- uh, like tolerate, and then the farther out from there, it's like they'll actually want to hear jokes. Now or you something. live yeah, in Brooklyn. Where's like weird because where's I've, like the peak of that? I've heard so much different shit though. I've heard people be like, "Oh, don't do comedy in Brooklyn." Like it's the woke. Everyone's woke over there. And then I've heard people be like, oh, you got to go out to Brooklyn. Like, the mics are so much better out there. Like, it's a much funner scene. Well, those are probably woke people that are telling you that. No, I don't think so. I've heard it from, like, multiple different sides of comedy Also, people. Brooklyn has, like, two and a half million people in it. It's, like, massive. So it's, like, you can't talk a- about it like a monolith, like anything. It's not like mm-hmm. all Brooklyn is exactly the same. Yeah, like, There's yeah. probably parts of Brooklyn, like, th- there's probably the mics in, uh, like, Bushwick or something that are, like, uh, that are more woke. Or, like, I don't know if it's maybe Williamsburg. When I got booed off stage, I was in a, uh, where was that? Westville. You, you got what? Booed off stage. <laughs> Did you? No. May as well have been. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, they, when they tried to make me out like I was some fucking monster. First of all, let's get something clear. <laughs> Drugging someone is not funny. Oh, they got, mi- they got mad at you? Because I, I said the Ari Shafir thing. You're, you're reporting the news. You can't report the news? It was like my second time doing it. Uh, open mic. Oh, and you were there for that, right? Yeah. That was, yeah, that was my second time ever doing it. And people got mad? And the host comes up and he's like, let's get something out of the way. <laughs> Where was it? There's nothing funny about what, what you was just the venue? said. Westville, right? Or is it Eastville? Isn't, isn't Westville Eastville. like a fucking... Uh, Eastville. Eastville like Comedy a, a Club f- in Brooklyn. Food? It's a good mic. It's, it's, it's yeah, one of the better, was pretty good. One of the better mics that I've done, but it, it's it's so far away. Someone actually just asked me to do a show in Brooklyn, and I'm probably not going to do it just because I don't want to go to Brooklyn. What's wrong with Brooklyn, bro? Dude, it's, it's like a whole day to get over there. It's really not. It's like 45 minutes. No, it's not. It Especially is. where this is. I'm looking at where this is. This is 30 minutes from us right now. Oh. 30 minutes. 34-minute drive. And it's 10 minutes to get to my apartment, bro. And it's 33 minutes on the subway. So it's 40, It's 45 minutes exactly. <laughs> You're being a, a fucking child, bro. You no, need you're to being fucking, a child. You need to cut your cut your fucking teeth well, in Brooklyn. I'm over with. I'm over this pod, bro. I'm gonna go work with. I'm gonna go work with Shane and Matt. Yeah, right, bro. You're you're you'd be lucky to get time with Tommy Smokes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tommy, want to do a sketch with me? Shane pulled me aside yesterday and he was like, "Dude, if we knew you were gonna be here, like we wouldn't have had fucking Roan on." <laughs> and I was like, "I know." I was like, "I'm just trying to let the kid have his moment." You were just being humble in the crowd, <laughs> the kid. Yeah. That you are, you are. Actually I was like, come on, the... Shane, bro. That's the prince. Come on, bro. He needs this. He needs That's this. The muffin. Stuff. What do you call yourself? The muffin man. Crisco. Hard white. <laughs> 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 no, that's the first the, or like the second battle I had. Could you? Uh, oh, sorry. Continue. No, some guy just called himself Hard White. <laughs> that's so funny. Could you? Uh, could you hear us laughing in the crowd? No. Could you hear Greer? No. Oh, Greer is like the most noticeable laugh when he really yeah. gets going. Wait, there was d- one point of the show where. You laughed like very hard, and you were the only person laughing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what joke I it was. I laughed at something that I think Matt said, but I think he like mumbled it, and I like burst out laughing. Yeah, it was funny. No one else laughed. I, I was the only person there that laughed. It, I felt like I was. Dude, the he's joker. fascinating. 
Mattis. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. You know the scene in the Joker where he laughs at like all the wrong stuff? <laughs> it that was, was you? Like that. It was that. But it was funny. So I legitimately think of a sense of humor as like uh like a sense like vision or like um or like smell or like taste where it's like having a broad sense of humor like is way more appealing than having an acute sense of humor same with having a sense of taste like if you only like one thing like you don't have a good sense of taste you have like a bad palate like if you find a lot of things funny if you find things funny that other people don't think is funny i think that means that you have like a broad and therefore a good sense of humor yeah Okay, let's end the pod. That's that was <laughs> that was nice. But yeah, do you know keep, what I'm talking about? No, bro, yeah. Keep going. Keep spitting. <laughs> These are the conversations I was having outside, smoking, yeah. a, <laughs> smoking a joint. I feel like I was gonna say I was gonna say something else though about last night. I forget what it was though. I don't know. What the fuck was it, bro? I don't know. It was a fun time though. We should do shows at the stand. We saw We're, the dude Devin Costa, uh, who uh, we. Oh yeah, he's, he was super funny. Yeah, he has well, a bunch of funny. Do comedy, but he's his videos are funny. He has a lot of funny videos. He's done some shit with Tinder. That one that they did, one that he did, was so fucking funny. What one the, about the podcast? Yeah. Oh, what about when you got iced outside? What? Oh, with a picture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this girl came up to us and she was like. She, I was talking to Tim Dillon. She comes up to us and she's like, "Can I get a picture with you guys?" And I, I kept on being like, "Me too." And she'd be like, "Yeah." And she was like, "Yeah, yeah." Can I get a picture with both of you? She actually DM'd me after and was like, I'm, "I got so nervous." Oh really? I'm sorry. I, I I boxed you out of the picture. And then her friend comes over, and she like gives me the camera. I already had the girl's phone to, to take, take the, the picture. picture of me, this girl, and Tim. And the, then her friend comes over and goes, "Actually, can you take another picture?" Like, it like basically being like, we don't want you in this photo. Damn. And I was like, I'm taking it. She's like, oh, no, it could be like a little competition. Yeah. Who takes the better one? And then her friend and then the girl DM me and she was like, I'm sorry. But it was really it was uh, it was mortifying to not be in every picture. Timmy ran with that one. Oh, yeah. He loved it. Yeah. Because I, I would love it, too. Out. Yeah. I would love it, too. No, I didn't care about not being in the picture. Yeah, so I'm was, sure you did it. I didn't. <laughs> But the one opportunity, bro. If people are going to take pictures without me in them. And then I got that banging ass video of me asking him for a picture. Did that? Did you put that out on the internet yet? Yeah, I put it out last night. On Twitter? Yeah. Numbies? 100K. Likes. Likes? Yeah, went viral. Ah! <laughs> Nothing fires me up more than numbies. I feel I like I just got a fucking shot of like Narcan in my chest whenever the fucking numbies come across. Or what? if we want to keep on going back to Pulp Fiction, what do they put in the... Girl's Narcan. chest. And, mm -hmm. Was it Narcan? Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah. Don't ever doubt yourself, bro. You got it right the first time. I didn't know that they had Narcan. I didn't know if Narcan was relatively new or if they had Narcan in the 90s. It might have just been adrenaline. What would Narcan I think do if you weren't on adrenaline. drugs? It might no, kill it you. was definitely Narcan. Was it? Yeah. There's going to be some someone in the oh, fucking, yeah. like, don't talk about Pulp Fiction unless you know yeah. everything about Pulp Fiction. I love how you guys would try and act like you're so certain when you're so wrong. I like how you try to act like you know about Tarantini when you don't know <laughs> shit about Tarantini. That's an exact, like you were saying, like comedy, you should have a wide taste. I feel like Tarantino fans like only watch Tarantino. Yeah, it's like a pretty obnoxious group of fans. I like uh, Wes Anderson. I like I like his movies just fine as well, but I think that some people like when uh, when uh, Logic the rapper put out that one what album. What was that noise? Something just die? No, they're both on. Mm -mm. Okay. When Logic the rapper put out that album, he, and it was like there was a skit that was like this album was fueled oh, yeah. by cigarettes and Tarantino movies. Oh jeez! So mm. Oh my god. His little sketches are the worst. Yeah, they're bad. Made me want to uh, call that hotline, if you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, should we wrap it up? I just want to be alive. <laughs> this was a gift. This podcast was a gift to yeah, you, the I listener. I apologize that I was on slump mode. but I think Don't apologize. Okay. No, you fought through, bro. And really nice with no ads. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good. I, but though I love ads. our advertisers like no other. Mm -hmm. And I have a great... Especially that chat. And especially better help. And especially better help. Those are the fucking homies. And bare bottom. And yeah. bottom. Cut all this out. No, no, no. Keep this in. Keep this in. We're doing free ads right now. But you now. do actually love bare bottom. I do love bare bottom. But I'm bottom. saying we're just like tipping the cap to them. They're not advertising here, but we want to tip the cap to them. Well, let's tip the cap to some other advertisers that we want. Actually, maybe Nike. these advertisers could just send, a, send us the money on the side. Yeah. Yeah. 
Hit us up. We got new banking information that we want to get going. Yeah, Barstool actually has a hold us, so we just wanted to <laughs> yeah. be the ones to, uh, specifically for this show, we're doing this rev share thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just let us sort it out. It'll be way easier if we just sort it out. Erica gave us the green light to just... Yeah, it's all good now. You take don't have to care of sales shit. anymore. Yeah, you don't have to. They're, they're going to do their own thing up there. And uh, just send us the skadoosh. All right. Thank you guys for listening. We'll see you guys on Monday. Peace. <laughs>